Presentations AI is a web-based AI presentation tool. To use the app, create an account using your Google account login or Microsoft Teams account or a specific email address and password. Once you create an account, you are asked to identify your industry, your company website, and a position type. Based on these questions, the platform is clearly geared towards corporate and business enterprises. Once you're done answering the account setup questions, three different recommended prompt templates are provided. Different than the common text prompt found on most generative AI tools, these prompt templates are set up as a purpose statement, and based on the options provided, these appear to be generated from your answers to the account creation questions. If the prompt text provided doesn't quite work for what you want, you can change the text to cater to a more specific or a specialized topic. The app will generate about nine to 11 slides. The slide layouts range from typical to innovative. In edit mode, the slides are listed as thumbnails on the left side of the screen, which is similar to other common presentation apps like PowerPoint and Google Slides. To edit a slide, there are several editing toolbars below the selected slide and to the right. The toolbar below the slide changes based on the slide layout. It enables you to add a point, change the set settings for things like animation, slide content, change the slide type, and to explore styles. To the right, there are three vertical toolbars. The top left toolbar is for changing the slide status, adding reactions, inserting an email address, and adding comments. Use the bottom left toolbar to add a slide, duplicate a slide, and delete a slide. The right vertical toolbar enables you to change from slide view to outline view, modify the slide design cult like color scheme and fonts, apply and change the animation, and finally add speaker notes. You will also notice there is a button at the bottom right marked Clip E. This is an AI assistant and a nostalgic add to the Microsoft Paperclip mascot from Windows 97. However, from what I've heard and read, those who actually experience Microsoft's Clippy don't exactly have fond or warm and fuzzy feelings about it. To use the AI assistant, click the button and it will provide specific commands like add slide, change slide, style, background, color, layout, or title. There's also an option to type in a command. To change a specific element on a slide, click what you want to change and use the pop-up toolbar. To change multiple elements at the same time, click the edit button. For images, click the replace button and search from an existing repository, upload your own images, or generate a new image. Just note that if you choose this option, your bank of AI credits will be tapped. Export is only available to pro and enterprise accounts. However, if you do want to export to PowerPoint, the add-on is an additional $99. The free version of Presentations AI includes unlimited slide decks, share and publish anywhere, brand themes, team collaboration, seamless sharing, and limited AI. AI credits. The pro version is $399 as of this recording for up to 10 users per year and includes early access, meaning you don't have to wait for new features, pro templates, custom fonts and colors, analytics, export to PDF, and additional AI credits. So is it worth a try? It is a good app to use and test out potential presentation design ideas. The intent statement is a unique approach to generating slide decks. However, it doesn't fit all situations for a slide deck. I found the provided image repository very limited. This surprised me given the large amount of public domain sites like Pixabay, Pexels, and Unsplash. I personally would need to upload all of my own images, so in a sense diminishing the reasons why I would actually use this tool. Overall, I found the interface a bit clunky, and for those using the free version, there are limited options for changing color schemes and fonts. In comparison to more established platforms in this AI space, the cost for a pro account for the available features is a bit steep, even with the current discount, particularly if you're an individual or a small team of two to three. For larger teams, the monthly cost does make it much more cost-effective. Presentations AI is still fairly new to the AI space, and it will be interesting to see how it evolves to distinguish itself from other apps and tools. Continue watching for more slide design tips and tricks.